Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of endometrial hyperplasia with the patient aged about 45 years. A small right ovarian hemorrhagic cyst is also seen. On pelvic examination, endometrial hyperplasia is characterized by a homogeneous increase in the endometrial thickness in majority of the patients. However, endometrial hyperplasia may also cause asymmetrical focal thickening with surface irregularity which should raise a suspicions for malignancy. Biopsy of the uterine lining is the definite test for the diagnosis of hyperplasia. Women with abnormal bleeding should be evaluated with a pelvic ultrasound. In post-mesopausal women, the ultrasound is used to assess the thickness of the lining. Endometrial hyperplasia is a histological diagnosis often made after sampling endometrium that appears thickened on pelvic ultrasound. It is defined as irregular proliferation of endometrial glands with an increased ratio of gland to stroma. Now the symptoms of the endometrial hyperplasia include abnormal vaginal bleeding including bleeding or spotting between menstrual periods, dramatic change in the duration of menstrual periods, postmenopausal bleeding, or heavier menstrual blood flow. In some instances, endometrial hyperplasia may precede cancer of the uterus. Now you can see the endometrium of this patient is thickened. We can measure the endometrial thickness and it is increased as you will see further in this video. Normal value of endometrial thickness is during periods it is 2 to 4 millimeter. Early proliferative phase it is 5 to 7 millimeter. Late proliferative phase it is up to 11 millimeter and in the secretory phase up to 16 millimeter. However, in this case, the endometrium is 19 to 20 millimeter. So this is, this may be a case of endometrial hyperplasia. Endometrial hyperplasia is a condition of the female reproductive system. The lining of the uterus, that is endometrium, becomes unusually thick because of having too many cells, that is hyperplasia. It's not cancer, but in certain women, it raises the risk of developing endometrial cancer, a type of uterine cancer. Again, you will see the endometrial thickness is increased. The thickness of the endometrial lining is rarely over 4 mm in a woman past menopause. In premenstrual women, the thickness varies with the phase of the menstrual cycle, but the maximum thickness will be less than about 16 mm even in the secretory phase. Here in this case, it is about 20 mm. Women with an endometrial thickness between 7 to 8 mm had a decreased pregnancy rate, but no significant difference was shown when compared to patients with endometrial thickness in 8 to 14 mm. Implantation is necessary for a successful pregnancy and requires healthy endometrial receptivity. So, as you can see, both in the transverse and longitudinal view, the endometrial thickness is increased. So ultrasound is often one of the first tests used to look at the uterus, ovaries and fallopian tubes in women with possible gynecological problem. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button.